Good afternoon. I'm Karen Winey of Material Science and Engineering. Sometimes batteries catch on fire. This is why hoverboards have been banned from commercial air flights. And one of the reasons why they catch on fire is because the electrolyte in them is a flammable liquid. And I want to replace that liquid with a solid plastic. So how do lithium ion batteries work? Um, there's two electrodes. One is graphite and one is um, a metal oxide. And when you charge the battery, electrons go into the metal oxide and release lithium ions. And the lithium ions go through the flammable electrolyte and insert into graphite. And then when you discharge, it leaves the graphite, comes back, and goes into the metal oxide. So it's the lithium ions moving back and forth, which allows you to charge and discharge your battery. There's a lot of volume change as the lithium moves from one electrode to the other, and this is the bad part. Sometimes, because of that large volume change, the two electrodes will touch and create a short, and that generates heat right there in the flammable, uh, the flammable electrolyte. So solid polymer electrolytes are what my group's working on. And we've recently found some polymers that have very interesting structures. And it's important that for the solid polymer electrolyte that the ions move, but not the electrons. And so we found this hierarchical structure of lithium aggregates and we're trying to manipulate those aggregates to make them into lithium superhighways. So we can replace flammable electrolytes in the lithium batteries with a solid polymer electrolyte. And this will not only reduce the chance for fire, but it will also reduce their weight because you can eliminate all the extra housing that's necessary when you try to encapsulate a flammable liquid. And so lighter weight batteries will mean our phones will charge longer, electric cars will go further. Thank you.